It's Sunday morning here at Destination Defender. We are about to leave on our big overlanding trip. We are going to travel nine hours today uh, to a campsite. And then from there, the next day, we'll be going to Big Bend National Park. We've made a small stop at Hill Country British. This is the Land Rover place. If you need your Land Rover worked on in Texas, bring it here. This place is amazing. We're dropping off that truck and trailer. We're also picking up a friend with a Discovery. We have some more people to meet before we actually get into Big Bend, but it will be tomorrow before we are all together. It's pretty strange. All of our tires are blue right now. I don't know if there was something in the clay and it left something on all of our tires that turned them blue, but it's pretty weird. And it's like really, really blue. Well, it's another day on our Defender road trip. Yesterday, we spent the entire day driving from Destination Defender to here, El Cosmico in Marfa, Texas. This is a pretty interesting camping spot. I stayed in one of the teepees here. Over this way, there's all kinds of vintage trailers you can sleep in. And over here, there is a bunch of safari tents. I think there's some other places that you can stay here, but really interesting. I think it's a toss up of what kind of experience you're going to have depending on what type of sleeping arrangement that you do use. These tents have fires in them, so that was pretty cool. And today we're going to continue the trip and we're actually going to make it into Big Bend National Park today. This is what the bathrooms and showers look like here at El Cosmico. Over here is a shower. We've got a sink. There is pl pretty hot water. And in here, the bathroom. If you want to keep someone out, just lock it with a chain and you're good to go. There's also a few yurts that you can rent to sleep in. And these vintage camper trailers are pretty neat. They're of all kinds of various sizing. I'm sure they're in all kinds of different conditions, but being out here in the desert, it probably usually doesn't get wet like this. So they're probably normally okay. And they have these really cool hot tubs here. These are wood fired hot tubs. So you'd put a start a wood fire here on that plate. It would warm up that coil, heating up the water and automatically circulating it for you. Yes, sir. Two minutes. Stop smiling. Get over here. You're the worst actor. I think this is the slowest gas pump I've ever seen. I have it on the highest notch. It should be really pumping. And look at that. It's hardly even moving. It's probably going to take 20 minutes just to fill the vehicle up. It's probably been 10 or 15 minutes now. I have a total of eight gallons. This is going to take forever. If you'd like to experience this for yourself, come to the Sunoco Station in Marfa, Texas. This is a fake Prada store just outside of Prada Marfa. I assume this is some sort of art installation, but we're here all getting pictures of our vehicles with it. Very 
Unfortunately, we are supposed to be getting some pretty spectacular views right now. But as you can see, as always on this trip, yeah, it is again raining. We are getting really close to Big Bend now. We have stopped for probably our last fuel stop before we actually get inside of the park. There's a couple defenders still fueling up. Next stop is hopefully Big Bend National Park. So we just entered the park and it's going to be 30 minutes from the entrance till we get to the visitor center. Walking the window view trail. We just left the visitor center. Now we're making our way to the Rio Grande campsite, which is where we are going to stay the night tonight. Here's our camp spot for tonight. The two D90s are going to be camped together. Yeah. That's well, about six o'clock in the morning. I'm one of the First people up, starting to take down my campsite. Justin's already up, he's in his truck over there. I think he's got things pretty ready. Today should be a good day. Hopefully we'll actually get onto some trails. So I'll see you later once the sun comes up. The sun is starting to come up on the campsite now. This is a much quieter, less animal campsite than we had at destination. We do have Starlink with us, so we are able to get internet because there is no cell service here. So for those small portions of time where we are camped, we will be connected to the rest of the world. I'm pretty excited to actually hit some trails today. Look at the view at this campsite. Sun's coming up. We're gonna go take a look at the Rio Grande. Right now we're crossing a swamp. We're on a little trail that leads right up to the river. So we found a little cache. Some Mexicans come across the border here. They leave these trinkets with prices on it. You can take it and then leave money probably in that little can there. And then they'll come back, get their money, and leave more things. And here we are. This is the banks of the Rio Grande. There are obviously trails all over the place where people have been riding horses over to the side. There is horse trails just and horse footprints everywhere. I think we're gonna go put our feet in the river. Grande River, expecting it to be more river. This is it, the first time I am ever looking down the Rio Grande. To the right is the United States and to the left is Mexico. This one is a great example of one of these horse trails coming across the river. You mean get them down so you can play with them? Yeah, I see. Here, here we go. Oh, hold on, let's get a picture. All right, a new day at Big Bend National Park. I am using Onyx Off-Road while we're here in the park. But you can see where I am right now at that blue dot. The scenery around here is just amazing. This is River Road East, and we will be taking this trail up to another trail, but we will do about half of this trail before we get there. Look at that, those are wild horses. How cool is that? Distance over there is a mine. 
that we might stop and check out. Mine is still pretty far away from the parking lot, so I don't know if we're going to walk up there. It's still pretty neat from here. Okay, we are leaving River Road and are now getting on the Black Gap Trail. This trail has all of these strange purple rocks around it. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Coming down. Nice and slow this side and this side.
down. Tense, just got that extra length, so that back right here.
it's the next morning. This is our campsite that we stayed in last night. It was very cold. Everything is soaking wet just from dew. We have amazing views here though. Sun's coming up over here. Today I think we're going to be doing something called the Christmas Trail and then we're going to go see an old ghost town. Wow, look at this view here. This is it. This is the gate to the Christmas Mountain Trail. far up we are right now but we've come at least a thousand feet up this mountain I would say the views are just crazy Because look at this view.
I think we are getting to the top now. This is Christmas Mountain. Wow, look at this view. My computer says we are currently at 5,361 feet. Okay, you have to check this out. I think from here we're overlooking Big Bend National Park. Wow, look at that. We've made our way back down to the gate, the start of the trail, and we are now at 4,088 feet. Now that the trail rides are done, we're all airing back up. My Defender did come stock with an air compressor, so I'm using that. We're now leaving Terlingua Ranch and we're going to go to a barbecue place for lunch. And we're going to go see a ghost town. I'm not sure if the barbecue place is at the ghost town, but apparently this place has the best brisket around. Joking. Sausage is very good. I'll give this brisket one more go. <laughs> so apparently, this is the Terlingua Ghost Town. So I guess this is the ghost town they were talking about. There was remnants of a town when we came in, just a couple falling down buildings. So I guess these are parts of the old ghost town. But these buildings have been renovated now or are, are in use. I guess this used to be a school. Oh. Looks like some of these houses might have been built out of some of the ruins as well. I'm with my new friends, Natalie and Alan, and they also have a YouTube channel called After the Land Rover Experience. And they're the ones that actually arranged this trip. They got everything put together, decided where we were gonna go. Thanks a lot for inviting me and the rest of us on this trip. You're welcome. You're so welcome. It was our pleasure to show um, our friends new places and uh, we had a really good time. 
And if they want to see more adventures like this, they can check out your channel. What it, What is your YouTube channel about? So it's, again, after the Land Rover experience, and it just chronicles our travel around the country. Um, we mainly off-road and overland, try to go to the most remote places that we can, um, camp when we can, and we would love for you to come watch us. Yep. And hopefully we all can do another video together someday. Yes, I Absolutely. hope so. Absolutely. And if you want to see another video about this entire trip, check out their channel because they will have one up there. Very thanks. Soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Steve. And now I'm with Justin from Lucky 8 Off-Road. I have a bunch of his equipment on my Land Rover Defender, but he makes stuff for discoveries and pretty much all the gamut of the Land Rover line. Uh, he's the one that actually got all of us together and he found Natalie and Alan to hook us up and figure out where we're going. Justin, you can find him on YouTube. What is your YouTube channel? We're at Lucky 8 Off-Road. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And the nice thing is if you buy products from you, you usually have an install video, especially if it's kind of a little complicated, you can just go on your YouTube channel and find out how to install it. We try, especially on the newer stuff, we're able to get install videos done, make the job a little bit easier. And another member of our team from this trip is Josh from Hill Country... British. British. Uh, what does Hill Country British do? Uh, Land Rover Service and Repair. San Antonio, Texas. Yeah, their facility was insane. I have a little bit of video around there. They have Land Rovers everywhere. And if you have any kind of Land Rover, these guys can take care of you.